here's a waveform that we received from a customer. It's an engine run-up and it sounds like this. You can hear that it's uh, non-stationary. It's an engine run-up and the speed of the engine is changing uh, over the operation. What we're going to do is come to vibration view and bring it in and what we see is four channels right here. Right front cylinder, right rear, left rear. We're interested in the cylinder which is channel two and you can see it displayed right here. And uh, if I play it through, you can see that the uh, spectrum is changing and shifting. The bottom is the uh, time domain. The top is the uh, frequency spectrum as it's uh, shifting. And as it goes through this range right in the middle, it changes dramatically. We're primarily interested in channel 2, so let's cut these uh, other channels out and just look at the cylinder head channel 2. And uh, let's play it back. Let me bring the wave uh, right about to here and play it. Uh, if I play it backwards, I get very accurate uh, slow motion uh, FFT displays. And you can see that the frequencies are there and shifting. And the question is, how would we take this and create a random test? The problem is these uh, high amplitudes are shifting around and how much amplitude do we weight them when we're designing a random test? Because as you can see, this particular waveform has uh, significant sinusoidal components in it. You know, there's a lot of sine waves going on right here at uh, uh, 112 hertz, uh, 76 hertz, and up here the, there's a big peak at 304 hertz. These are all important things when you're designing a random test. What do we do with them?